Hello. I am the storyteller. And today we will talk about Lucca. Lucca is a city and comune in Tuscany, central Italy, on the Serchio, in a fertile plain near the Tyrrhenian Sea. It is the capital of the province of Lucca. It is famous for its intact Renaissance-era city walls. Lucca was founded by the Etruscans and became a Roman colony in 180 BC. The rectangular grid of its historical center preserves the Roman street plan, and the Piazza San Michele occupies the site of the ancient forum. Traces of the amphitheater may still be seen in the Piazza dell'Anfitetro. At the Lucca Conference, in 56 BC, Julius Caesar, Pompey, and Crassus reaffirmed their political alliance known as the First Triumvirate. Fridiano, an Irish monk, was Bishop of Lucca in the early 6th century. At one point, Lucca was plundered by Odoacer, the first Germanic king of Italy. Lucca was an important city and fortress even in the 6th century, when Narsus besieged it for several months in 553. Under the Lombards, it was the seat of a duke who minted his own coins. The holy face of Lucca, a major relic supposedly carved by Nicodemus, arrived in 742. During the 8th-10th centuries Lucca was a center of Jewish life, the community being led by the Calanimus family. Lucca became prosperous through the silk trade that began in the 11th century, and came to rival the silks of Byzantium. During the 10th-11th centuries Lucca was the capital of the feudal margraviate of Tuscany, more or less independent but owing nominal allegiance to the Holy Roman Emperor. After the death of Matilda of Tuscany, the city began to constitute itself an independent commune with a charter in 1160. For almost 500 years, Lucca remained an independent republic. There were many minor provinces in the region between southern Liguria and northern Tuscany dominated by the Malaspina. Tuscany in this time was a part of feudal Europe. Dante's Divine Comedy includes many references to the great feudal families who had huge jurisdictions with administrative and judicial rights. Dante spent some of his exile in Lucca. In 1273 and again in 1277, Lucca was ruled by a Guelph Capitano del Popolo named Lucetto Gattaluzio. In 1314 internal discord allowed Ugaccione della Fagaula of Pisa to make himself Lord of Lucca. The Lucchese expelled him two years later, and handed over the city to another condottiero, Castruccio Castracani under whose rule it became a leading state in central Italy. Luca rivaled Florence until Castracani's death in 1328. On 22 and September 23, 1325, in the Battle of Alto Pasu, Castracani defeated Florence's Guelphs. For this he was nominated by Louis IV the Bavarian to become Duke of Luca. Castracani's tomb is in the Church of San Francesco. His biography is Machiavelli's third famous book on political rule. In 1408, Luca hosted the convocation intended to end the schism in the papacy. Occupied by the troops of Louis of Bavaria, the city was sold to a rich Genoese, Gerardino Spinola, then seized by John, King of Bohemia. Pawned to the Rossi of Parma, by them it was ceded to Mustino II della Scala of Verona, sold to the Florentines, surrendered to the Pisans, and then nominally liberated by the Emperor Charles IV and governed by his vicar. Luca managed, at first as a democracy, and after 1628 as an oligarchy, to maintain its independence alongside of Venice and Genoa, and painted the word Libertas on its banner until the French Revolution in 1789. Lucca had been the second largest Italian city-state with a republican constitution to remain independent over the centuries. In 1805, Lucca was conquered by Napoleon, who installed his sister Elisa Bonaparte Bejaki as Princess of Lucca. From 1815 to 1847 it was a Bourbon Parma duchy. The only reigning dukes of Lucca were Maria Luisa of Spain, who was succeeded by her son Charles II, Duke of Parma in 1824. Meanwhile, the Duchy of Parma had been assigned for life to Marie Louise, Duchess of Parma, the second wife of Napoleon. In accordance with the Treaty of Vienna, upon the death of Marie Louise, Duchess of Parma in 1847, Parma reverted to Charles II, Duke of Parma, while Lucca lost independence and was annexed to the Grand Duchy of Tuscany. As part of Tuscany, it became part of the Kingdom of Sardinia in 1860 and finally part of the Italian state in 1861. 